Hi everyone, it's me Keith again. Welcome to another tutorial. This time we are going to deal with VLOOKUP in Google Sheets. Now when we say VLOOKUP, it's like a search feature in Google Sheets. However, the only difference with this one is the data is already in there. All you need to do is just to pinpoint and select that data that you need. Okay, so let's start. First is I'm going to create a new sheet. So to do that, I'm going to click on the Add Sheet icon right here which is the plus sign then afterwards I'm going to double click on this one I'm going to name this one maybe VLOOKUP or CUSTOM LOOKUP I'm just going to use CUSTOM LOOKUP however the exercise is about VLOOKUP next is I'm going to get a field reference okay I'm going to get a field reference from point of sale so I'm just going to press the equal sign on my keyboard then go to point of sale i'm going to choose item description there then afterwards the next one is i'm going to press the equal sign on my keyboard then i'm going to choose remaining stocks next is i'm going to press the equal sign again then i'm going to choose price now here's the thing guys so what's going to happen is I am going to get the list of all the items on my point of sale. So for example, if you are going to deal with hundreds and hundreds of data from one sheet and you are going to search it to another sheet, so that will be very hard if you're not going to use this feature right here. So this will ease up all the searching, okay, or looking up of files. So item description, I'm going to use the list feature in here. So to do that, click on the item description area or cell beside it then click on data then choose data validation so under data validation we have the so-called list from range this one okay so list from a range next is i'm going to click on select data range icon which is in here click on that one then go back to point of sale then the list that I am going to acquire is the list under item description. Okay, so from here, drag it downwards up to here. Okay, then click OK. So once it's done, click Save. So what's going to happen if you go back to Custom Lookup? It's like this. There is some sort of a drop-down box that will be displayed. So it's, if ever you are going to click on that one, you will see the list of items that are under item description okay there so what's going to happen next guys is if ever I'm going to select a particular item from the item description its remaining stocks will appear here as well as the price so to do that we are going to use the VLOOKUP formula so first we are going to press the equal sign on our keyboard then type VLOOKUP so there then open parentheses. This time we are going to get a cell reference. Now the reference for this one will be definitely this one. So just click on that uh, cell, which is C3 from me, then comma. Then afterwards we are going to search the table array. When we say the table array, all the data that is included in the table. So of course it is located under point of sale then from this area highlight going up to the last part of the spaghetti data or item which is on the amount area then comma afterwards we are going to search for the remaining stocks column number so how are we going to do that so we are going to count the number of columns so the remaining stocks on column letter e however we are going to get the column number for this so it's like one two three four so it is on the fourth column so i'm just going to type four then comma then i'm going to type true which means we are getting the exact value okay then hit my enter key on my keyboard there you go so if ever i'm going to check on the remaining stocks for the rice it will display as 10 
if I'm going to check on the remaining stocks for the spaghetti, it will display as 585. We are going to double check if this value is correct. I'm going to click on point of sale. It's the same. Okay, so if I'm going to click on soft drinks, it's 611. Click on the point of sale, it's 611. So it's correct. Next is we are going to deal with the price. So to do that, I'm going to press my equal sign again. Type VLOOKUP. Open parentheses, I'm sorry. Then click on the item reference, which is this one. Then comma. Then afterwards, I'm going to uh, check on the table array. Click on point of sale. Same thing. From fried chicken going down to spaghetti. Then comma. Afterwards is I'm going to check on the price column number. The column number for the price is um, 5. Of course, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's in column letter F. So I'm going to type number 5, comma, and type true. Close parenthesis, enter. There you go. So let's try it again. If I'm going to search for rice, soft drinks, spaghetti it's working well and of course it's doing its job okay so that is how you are going to use vlookup in google sheets watch out for our next exercise and subscribe for more bye for now